Hey guys, have you ever wanted to know how I spend my Thursdays? Well, today's your lucky day. You guys get to see what I do most Thursdays, just having a good time training dogs with friends. All right, guys, you wonder what I do for fun? This is what I do for fun. I make absolutely no money doing this. This is completely for fun. I'm just training with some friends. We're doing like more PSA training, believe it or not. So that's why I have a sleeve and a stick. So the cool thing about all the dogs that you guys are gonna see is they're all reclamation projects. This is an ex-police dog, right? Yeah, isn't it? Michael's dog's an ex-police dog. And then Lucas's dog's an ex- Is it an ex-police dog? I don't know what you would call him. <laughs> a, a, a reject. A reject. No. <laughs> and he bites quite well, so joke's on them, I guess. So what we're working on with all these dogs, these guys, their goal is to trial in PSA. Um, and with reclamation projects, especially dogs of the quality that you're about to see, um, the dogs have a lot of drive and they're not used to controlling that drive and directing it and channeling it into productive behaviors. Behavior is productive for PSA, let's say. They're more doing police style stuff. So now trying to get the dogs ready for the sport field and it's always fun with reclamation projects, especially when the dogs are like really strong dogs. And uh, Walter here is a strong dog, so we're gonna have a little fun with him. Oh, oh. yes. Good, and I want you to give him the O-U-T with a forward pressure, okay? Los. Los, repeat it every time he touches it, los. Good, good, you tell him to bite. Good job. <laughs> He's a suit dog, so I'm just gonna stay out of range a little bit. Oosh, because Walter will bite you for real. Switch hands, I don't think he's gonna fight with you here. It's very low though, right? Yeah. Lower. Good. Tell him, Foose. Foose. Pull. Pull a bit on the leash. Foose. Foose. Pull forward. Foose. Foose. When he looks up, release pressure. Reward. Do you have your, 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 um, yes, perfect. You'll put the ball up now. Good. Put the ball there. You can film now. We're in a nice place. Go up a little bit on your E now. Just be ready because now he's going to be more sensitive than he was, right? Show him, no, show him the, show him the ball. Show him the ball. Yes, you want him to see it now. This is going to be his like, his salvation. Yes, that's the safety. No, no, like, like, whatever. If you were like six, go like eight, you know? Just keep in mind, everything's three times, right? So, tell him Foose. Tick, tick, tick. Yes, drop. So don't make the mistake of showing him the ball first. Pressure command together, he looks, the ball comes. And you can see with this dog, like he's like a lot of like kind of ex-police dogs or dogs that just haven't done a lot of secondary obedience. For him, all of the value is here. And even though he loves the ball, it's like for him, he's like, oh no, I'd rather bite that guy than play with the handler. And I'd rather bite that guy than listen to the handler. And if you just try to muscle this dog in the beginning, you're gonna get chewed up, right? We need to be smart about everything. Yeah, he's a really nice dog. This is like a real dog. They don't make Mallies like this. He's probably not really even a Mally, so. The shepherd's why he's cool. The shepherd part of him. Again, at the hip of the dog, leash pressure, tick, tick, then foos. Oh, nice, man, that was a super transition. Okay, hand inside, just say it. Good, praise him. Good boy. And you're gonna tell him to bite now. Good job. Oosh, go away. Good job. Aha, uh, pet him now and support the grip a little bit. Good boy, Aha. yeah, buddy. Aha, good. Aha. good. These are important handler desensitization drills because we're making a lot of pressure. Hands away, tell him to bite. Good job. Ah -ha. Ah -ha. And I'm not worried about where he's at on the grip right now, because he's a suit dog. Ah! And it's usual for them to travel when we're being really strong with them about letting go. Good. Tick, tick. Good. Tick, tick. Tick, tick. Reward. Good there we go. Boy. So we've already done this part, but now we're going back to it because a lot of dogs, after they get that like initial bite, they don't want anything more to do with the initial learn behavior. So now we're going back to the learn behavior where he learned to be comfortable. Yes, tickle him on the side. Yes, good job. Hand in, oh, hand inside. Look at the decoy. Whatever you say, Mark. Good. 
Good. Hand outside, tick, tick, foos. Roar. Beautiful. That was good. Some hard training. Moments of that beat a thousand moments of tickles. A lot of people nag and tickle these types of dogs until the dog becomes frustrated and redirects on them and tries to eat them. This dog will 100% try to eat the handler. So kudos to uh, Mike for being willing to handle a type of dog like this and actually push him to that level of control where he's able to hopefully one day go on the field and excel. He's a super nice dog, so I hope you know he accomplishes his goal of uh, showing the dog. And I've seen the dog try to eat him a few times over little things, over anything, you know? So for these types of dogs, these are very few handlers can handle these types of dogs. There's two ways to go, right? Like some people think, oh, I'll just be the alpha and I'll roll the dog and I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll basically just force him to listen to me. If you aren't smart with that type of dog, he's going to eat you up. If you try all that nonsense, you think you're going to alpha roll that dog or some nonsense like you're going to correct him on a prong collar or light him up with the E and he's just going to listen to you, you're going to get eaten 100% and that dog does not bite like a joke. Like he is really trying to hurt you and uh, he will send you to the hospital real quick. And he goes over threshold really quick. He just freaks like, he just goes into a high place of arousal very fast, which is common for like the mals and mal mixes, right? The other solution that a lot of people try to come up with is, oh, I'm not gonna fight with him. Everything's gonna be nicely nice. I'm gonna give him toys when he listens to me and I'm gonna try and trade him for everything and everything is a negotiation. Fuck that, doesn't work either. That's for lack of a better word, pussy training. That doesn't work and that doesn't translate to the, to the sport field either. So what you must do is you must incentivize the good behavior, right? You, you can use toys by all means. You must use positive reinforcement a lot with this type of dog and incentivize the good behavior. But you also must make pressure so that the dog learns to avoid the pressure and go into the right behavior. What happens with these types of dogs is if you are making stupid pressure with them or your pressure isn't very well thought out or intelligent, they will fight the pressure. And that's when they come up the leash and try to eat the handler and often do eat the handler. So you must be smart with this type of dog. And also understand that this type of dog is risky to handle. You must really be careful when you handle him and do everything in a smart way, but such a nice dog. And when we finally get him you know, all cleaned up and stuff. I'm, you know, I'm sure Mike's gonna really do well with them, I hope. And uh, it's really coming along, so good, good for him. Oh boy, he's excited. <laughs> he's excited. You can see a little foraging there. We need the dog a bit back. That's already, yes, there you go, Lucas. A little more, really, ex yes, that's it. You can see like his front leg sometimes still finish in front of your left leg. There, and now feel him. There you go. And show him, whenever you leave my left hand, I pull you out. There you go. Lift the left leg if you're gonna, just lift the left leg a little bit as you walk. Yes. Make it a little uncomfortable. There you go. That's good. Come back, pick him up out of here and take him for a little break and then we'll do some protection with him. Lucas wants to compete for his PSA 1 in I think April, so he's just working on the routine and trying to get everything right with his dog. And uh, as you can see, we're just working on some little things, making everything as good as we can make it so that hopefully he goes on the field and he has some success with his dog. And I think he will. It's looking pretty good. So. Hey! On this out, back away immediately and see if we can't get the barking. So go. Right away after the out. Oust! <laughs> yep, reward. <laughs> and you mark, yep, reward on the barking. Okay, OUT, the same thing. As you can see there, we're working a little bit like to keep the dog active, because in the carjacking, the dog should be active barking um, before the bite and after the bite. Now. Ah, uh -huh. good, nice. Stop, tell him to bite. If he's backing up, anticipating the bite, yeah. don't let him do it. Who do you? Yes, good. Oh boy, buddy. Hey! Hey! Who do you? That was good. He didn't move. He didn't move at all. He didn't move at all. Good. Tell him bite. Who do you? Hey! <laughs> he's like, really? Hey, man, hey, hey, that guy hey, stole my wallet! Hey. That guy stole my wallet! That guy stole my wallet! That guy stole my wallet! He doesn't even look at me. And just uh, make a little like activity, yes, yes. Walk right up to him. And once you get right up on him, Lucas, give him the bite signal. 
There you go. All right, we got to work on this. He's really bad with this stuff. Who's? Shh. Quiet. Helper. Who's? Can you make a little action? Just like crack the whip a bit. Push. Yep. Push. Push. Good. Helper. Walk in. You give him the bite. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I've never actually met a naturally pushing German Shepherd. He's a natural pusher. Should be an interesting combination with Juice, because she likes to push too. <laughs> I think they'll be genetic pushers. Chico here, Foos! Good. 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 Helper. I like giving him a choice. He's like, you could go. You could go. I wouldn't, but you could. Foos. Good boy. That's nice, man. Helper. Walk in. Push him into me. You give it to him and lock him up right away. Hey. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, now move him. There you go. There you go. And now lock him up. Ouch. And again, lock him up. Don't let him chew around. There you go. Hey, good. Helper, step in, bite. Yeah. There you go. And lock him up right away. There you go. And now move him. Hey. Sit. Hey. hey. Dash. There you go. That's good. There you go. All right, guys, that's three pretty cool dogs. Hope you enjoyed the show. I've said it before and I'll say it again. A lot of people like to eat the sausage, but they don't want to know how the sausage is made. But I'm a sausage maker, so I'm showing you the sausage making process. And now I made one of those, what are those fucking things where you like say everything? Seashells, she, seashells, seashells on the seashore. <laughs> There's too much sausage talk here. It's time to move on. I hope you enjoyed the training. Check us out, YouTube, Instagram. Facebook, online training, Patreon, all that shit. <laughs>